Brian, thank you. We continue now with our team coverage this noon with more on the first real here. News H's Noel Gardner has traveled around the state this day. She joins us live in New Haven with more on how to drive safely in these slick conditions. Noel. Keith, we traveled up north to Watertown and caught up with snowplow drivers who are working hard to keep the roadway safe. The sea of white snow has plow drivers busy. We get out early enough and, you know, we deal with the traffic and we've got to do parking lots and stuff, but if people, like I said, if people just drive like they're supposed to, they'll be fine. Some drivers who had a close call are using caution, cruising around in the snow and slush. I almost uh, got into an accident a couple of times. Uh, just drive very carefully, very slow. Matter of fact, going up the hill, uh, whoever has a front wheel drive, they need a 4x4. Four four. You know, if you see a patch that's coming up in your lane that's slippery and it, it looks like it might be a little slippery, uh, you know, just try to go a little easy over it, you know. If you have to drive in this white stuff, make sure there's extra space between your vehicle and the one ahead of you. Well, it's slippery even for an experienced driver, so <laughs> you just got to be careful. It's a little slippery. Everybody better be careful out there. It's uh, definitely going to get slicker as the day gets a little lighter. Snowplow drivers have some advice. Just take your time. You know, you go too fast, you forget to slow down because you feel like the road is good. You come to a stop sign or you come to a stoplight and you're not thinking about slowing down before you get there. Before you know it, you go to put your brakes on, you're going to slide right through it and hit somebody. Keith, snowplow drivers say keep your distance. If you're too close to their truck, they won't be able to see you. Reporting live in New Haven, Noel Gardner, News 8. All right, Noel, thank you. And don't forget, we always want to see your great pictures of the snow in your particular neighborhood. Send them along to us through the reported feature using the application on your smartphone on our website. You know it by now, WTNH.com.